Hello and welcome to Age of Empires 2, Castle of Dorto, version 15, triple tank mod. We are the Saracens, and on our team we've got the Chinese, the Byzantines, and the Franks. And we are against the Aztecs, the British, the Teutons, and the Vikings. So I need to stay away from the Teutons, basically. And hope that some of my team take on the Teutons. I might actually go send a few down to the... Uh, the Byzantines to help take on the Vikings. Nah. Or maybe, maybe I will just come down here and attack the British. Right, get back, get away. So what I'll do is I'll send these ones down this way and keep these ones here, just because then... Well, actually, I can bring them there for now. Then, yeah. So when they come up here... They'll try and sneak a kill. But what I can do is I can then creep up behind them. If I send them along here, I can then creep up behind. And block them. So that if they try to run away, they'll then get absolutely wrecked. Give me the kills, please. And then run away. And try and get these gates while I'm here. Just because the Saracens being The Saracens being the troops that they are. No, stay away, Chinese. Player rates resigned, apparently. I'm not sure what's happened there. I've been too too busy focusing on player three. So when player three is actually there in full force, player three is actually able to uh, to win in the battles. Maybe that's because now that player three has started getting the defensive bonuses rather than the range. But that's actually not good at all. Though if player four is going to go, only player three left then. It's not the most interesting of games, to be honest. I'm surprised, were they... I mean, I suppose the... The Teutons and the Aztecs aren't going to be that good against, say, the Byzantines. Or the Franks. 
all the Chinese. I don't know. Got to be careful not to feed the British here, though. Try and be a neat shield, but the Franks are standing in the way a little bit. Well, leave them to it then. I'm not convinced this is the most sensible strategy. I mean, now that player five has the castle age. Because player 3 is only the feudal age, but player 5 is the castle age. Player 5 has the advantage over player 3. But then what we can do... You want me to raise? Fair enough. I'll more than gladly take the raisins. And then I can then get the additional hit points for my Saracens. I have forgotten to keep on going there. Alright, so they're hiding back there. But... If player 5 makes the rams, then good luck. Alright, it's literally only me that still needs to uh, raise. No, player 7 as well. But yeah, I suppose it did make more sense for me to raise rather than player 7. Especially if there wasn't enough raisings for player 7. Yeah, you're trying to build the, uh, the defences in there. I'm still not convinced we should be going in yet. I just, I think that player 5 should be building up the rams first. And then going in with the rams. I need to keep a unit on the central island. of the eyes. Player 6 going in with the towers. Absolute champion. Now, player 3 is actually making a mistake here because they're blocking themselves in. My right, villagers, you can go and do the same thing on this side.
start on that one, maybe. The Rams are slowly taking over. And player three is still probably on the arches of the eyes. There we go. Player three getting taken down by player five. Easy. Now we may as well just send everyone in. I mean, maybe it would have worked just to send everyone in and maybe I was just trying to get everyone to be a little bit too cautious but Castle left. They're up to Harold's, but it's too little too late. That castle is about to get killed. doing? Where are you player 5? Are you just all rams now? Fair enough. And that's the end of the castle. So there we go. Yeah. It seemed like the game was going to be ruined as it seemed like they're all going to resign but with uh, with player 3 sticking around it, um, it actually allowed a little bit of a a tactical battle there. So yeah, player, player three was opting for the strategy of trying to get us all to come in, feed player three, which is what the only strategy you have left if it's one against four. Um, and then hope to be getting up to you know the imperial age first and the better units. Oh, where am I going? But in this case, player five had castle age, while everyone else had feudal age. So that meant that player 5 could just use the range advantage and then also make the rams and then player 3 was trying to build all the bombard towers in around the edge which is always a good strategy for the uh, for the defence but player 5 was, was too much there for player 3 and that's then what got us the victory. Player 3 did get up to Imperial Age, but it was too little, too late. So yeah, there we go. Got the victory. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And I shall see you in the next episode.